everybody! Welcome to Skull Session number three! Today we're going to discuss a little bit about food preservatives. Just bear in mind that this is a serious talk for those who are serious about health. Every living organism needs food to maintain life. These days most food products have food preservatives in order to extend the shelf life and maintain the quality. There has to be some form of preservatives added. However, those preservatives can cause some harmful effect to our body. We can preserve food naturally or artificially. Methods of preservation aim to exclude air, moisture, or create an environment where organisms such as bacteria cannot survive. Natural way of food preservation can be done by cooking, freezing, pasteurizing, dehydrating, adding sugar, alcohol, vinegar such as pickling something and smoking. The artificial ways of food preservation would include vacuum packaging and nuclear radiation. But let's talk more about it with our director who's actually got knowledge and experience. Please, director, uh, welcome. Hello, everyone. Um, where would you like me to start? Well, I have identified three main preservatives which can be harmful to mm. humans' body, which are sulfates, nitrates and benzoates. Okay, let me just mention a little bit from what I know. And what I know comes from teaching food safety. Um, and of course, food preservation, it's, it's one of the big topics that we have to cover. Interestingly enough, uh, sulfites um, are very common in products such as dry fruits. Nowadays, sulfites have been identified as one of the major allergens, which are um, about 14 uh, in total, common things that people react to badly when ingesting them. Um, and by law, they have to be listed in the food label. Okay, so, so and, and in bold. So when you check now, if you check, what you should do, check your food labels, you, you see things which are in bold. When they are in bold, it means that they're po a possible allergen and they have some undesirable effects to the body. You've done some research, you can tell us what the <laughs> common effects will be? Yes, could be the cause of headaches, palpitations, allergies, like you mentioned, and even cancer. Wow. This is why, yeah. as you mentioned, it's so important to read the labels so you know exactly what you put into your body. And if you read a label and you don't know most of the words, the really funky, difficult words to read or pronounce, then it means that there's a lot of stuff that it shouldn't be there, that the actual fresh product that you want it's covered with things that might be harmful to you. So you need to make a choice. Anyway, so we can move on to uh, nitrates, for example, which are common in the meat industry, um, especially uh, deli meats and uh, sausage, hot dogs and things like that. Um, of course, sulfates are also used in there. It's a typical example that we will learn from a meat industry, let's say sausage industry. There is a regulation in the UK um, that it says, well, you can only hit this number, this amount of chemical can be present. And if you go over that number, then you, you, know, you, you can get unwell. Mm. You get a form of food poisoning from that the body will not tolerate the amount of chemical. And so it is very common, if, if you're a meat eater and ever had a hot dog or something like that, and then you had a lot of vomiting and stomach ache and things like that, it is one of the likely causes, it will be it's gone over, the, the preservatives are just too many. 
because it's such a disgusting thing anyway to, to make a sausage to, yeah. to taste in a way to bind it to mm. uh, and preserve all that uh, dead flesh it's, it's quite a disgusting thing in itself this is a, a common intolerance and this is it's not an allergy it's just um, you need to look for reasonable suppliers um, that will follow what the law is saying otherwise it might cause harm to your body wow mm. what a, a very deep and profound message mm. because we are purchasing something and we're not even eating that product yeah what we eat is the preservatives and chemicals which by the sound and what of we it, get addicted to is yeah, the taste of the that's <laughs> so true is the preservatives yeah is the chemical yeah. and they are all toxic they are very toxic to our body i mean nitrates are uh, uh, associated with stomach cancer isn't it yes they are mm. yes yeah what's the other one benzoids so i did just a little bit research about this particular preservative and and i found out that they been suspected to cause allergies as well interesting asthma and skin rashes mm. we find these preservatives in the cos cosmetic industry yes and and sometimes if you using a new product or something like that what do you call this like a foundation foundation um, and you have a skin rash or you know little spots or each or something then you need to check the label and find out what preservative is there and you might have some sort of allergy or intolerance to that yes but i have even better idea okay i think before you even purchase any cosmetic you should check the label absolutely just like with food just like with food because there are so many stuff in cosmetics in foundations and creams such as aluminium for example mm. which is it's toxic and if you want to have a healthy, nice skin, you should not put such chemicals on your face or into your body. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Miss Green, may I go behind the camera? Yes, thank you so much, Director. This was very interesting. How good to have such a knowledgeable director. This is enough to get you to think about preservatives and there are even more food preservatives and chemicals that are harmful to your body if you wish to discuss more please hit the comment section below and we will be more than happy to continue this conversation knowing all this shouldn't we go back to eating natural food if you want to hear more from us please subscribe to our youtube channel and thank you very much for watching Haribol.